out of South Bakersfield tonight. The Kern County Sheriff's Office confirming for us tonight that a shooting outside the Golden West Casino happened earlier tonight. One person is dead, another wounded. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jackie Ochoa. And I'm Leah Pizzetti. Tim Callahan has the night off. One of those people, the person of interest in the shooting at Kern Medical tonight with gunshot wounds. 23 ABC's Alyssa Flores is live on scene for us tonight. She joined us with the latest. Alyssa. Jackie Leah, traffic is still being blocked off here on Union from Bell Terrace to Ming. The investigation here at Golden West Casino is still ongoing. All of a sudden, I heard uh, gunshots. Ronnie Veach was at a motel across the street when shots were fired Friday evening at the Golden West Casino in South Bakersfield. It sounds about as much as I can uh, remember, it would be around 12 shots. Just after 5.30 p.m., Kern County deputies were dispatched to the casino. When they got there, they say they immediately found a man dead outside of the front entrance. They say that is where the shooting appeared to take place. Lieutenant Ian Chandler said they then got a second call to the Playfair Market across the street. Found another subject there with multiple gunshot wounds. He was transported to Kern Medical Center and subsequently detained. Uh, as a person of interest in this case. KCSO says right now that is the only person of interest in this case. According to Lieutenant Chandler, there were about 100 people in the casino at the time who were evacuated at about 5.50 p.m. Some sustained minimal injuries while seeking shelter. Now, we spoke to a witness tonight and an employee of the casino here, and they tell us that the man that was killed tonight, that his name was Richard Elo Elo. He was a security guard here at the casino, and they say that he was escorting the alleged shooter out of the casino because he did not have identification on him. This information, however, has not been confirmed with law enforcement yet. We're going to continue to follow this story as we get more information, so be sure to stay with us on turn to 23com 